Now, method of preparation of phenols. As you know that phenols are commonly known as carbolic acid. Methanol are known as carbinols and H2CO3 is known as carbonic acid. This can also be asked in an exam. First method of preparation of phenol is that Dow process. It is commonly known as Dow process. It's a very simple method. In Dow process, you will take the chlorobenzene. You must take care and we have done earlier in the halorequin halorin. You have to take this one with the nucleophile NMH and you are aware that generally chlorobenzene will not give the reaction with NMH. So you must take the 623 Kelvin temperature and 300 atmospheric pressure you must maintain this one and then we will get that is the phenol you just need not to go with the intermediate if you are going it's best otherwise intermediate will not detect your marks this is known as Dow process which is not coming in the by written in the NCRTs, but you can go with this by knowing Dow process. Number two method is from the benzene sulfonic acid. First, from benzene sulfonic acid. Benzene sulfonic acid. First, we will take here benzene, and benzene is reacted with the oleum that is the H2S2O7 oleum you come to know in the p-block also H2S2O7 this will give you benzene sulfonic acid SO3H SO3H and again react it with the NaOH with the acidic medium it will give you Phenol. This is simple method, but you remember also this has been in syllables. The third method is or method of preparation is from diazonium salt. Now the third method is that from the benzene <coughs> from diazonium salt. This reaction we earlier done in the first chapter. Up to this, this reaction is benzene diazonium chloride formation of benzene diazonium chloride as you are watching that this we have done in the first chapter halolequin halorin from aniline when it reacts with the benzene diazotization mixture NaNO2 HCl it will give you benzene diazonium chloride when benzene diazonium chloride warm with water we will get the main product that is the phenol this reaction is coming now second time this is what known as phenol and uh, next step is that how from the cumin cumin reaction is too much important my dear student in this reaction first you will do this reaction then i can tell to know how this cumin we are getting uh, you are very curious to know about how this cumin that is isopropyl benzene how we will get when here I would like to tell you the methyl shift. First, please uh, learn this one. How can we do the methyl shift? Organic chemistry generally we are doing. Whenever you do this reaction first, this benzene react with the CH2, CH2, CH3, CH2, CH2, Cl. Now, methyl shift will take place. Methyl shift will takes place and we are getting the product isopropyl alcohol in the isopropyl benzene this is the CH3 CH3 and H these methyl shift are taking place why because of that here we are getting the stable carbo carbocation general student are not aware this is in a just part like as an alkylation reaction alkylation reaction which you are doing 
generally with the methyl group my dear student here if i react with cl3cl what i will get this is a part of friedel craft reaction when we are doing the only with chloromethene we are putting here cl3 but when i am taking this one that is the chloropropene here i turn and convert into the stable carbocation and the way i am getting that is the cumene commonly known as cumene which we are writing here in the reaction of starting so this is what the methyl shift i explain you nobody will ask you how to do this one but you must aware what is the methyl shift in the next step i'm just going to tell you the reaction now this reaction is simple you see that i'll take that cumene that is known as isopropyl benzene now it react with the oxygen and gives to you oxygen is attaching with the two bonds in between the carbon and hydrogen ch3 this ch3 oxygen is coming in between this one oxygen another oxygen and now hydrogen so then now you make the hydrolysis h plus acidic medium water one product we will get the phenol and second product by product we are getting here propanol this has never been asked in the exam how you could convert the isopropyl benzene into the propanol because the major product is phenol but be aware we can get propanol also from here so these are the what main questions of a main method of preparation but here i would like to discuss one more question here to you guys this is what we are getting to understand one important question o oh, this is the ch3 c double bond o and o c at 3 here the catalyst is given nabh4 that is the reducing agent nabh sodium borohydride my dear students you must aware that sodium borohydride do not attack don't attack at the ester group so the answer will come it is converting that ketonic group into the alcoholic group and this group remain same that is the ester group my dear student please be aware of this one this can lose your one marks in the next chapter i'll tell you which will break that is the di balh is a strong reducing agent that will attack on the ester group that is it can break ester group it can break ester group which you learn in the next chapter i definitely make a recall to you because of that now sodium borohydride is in a weak reducing agent it is in a weak reducing agent and cannot attack on the ester group as you seen in the example also this can this is an important for the examination point of view thank you guys coming in the next class very soon